let's find out what this is all about by watching the intro. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Geppetto's puppet. As in Pinocchio? the arm of steel. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I was, I was here all along. A to interact with with what? Maybe the door. She was stuck slowly. Need to interact. Nope. Ah, need to investigate now. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Use belt. Up to select upper belt. Down to select the lower belt. X to use the selected belt. Equip items and gestures on the belt to use them. Sure. Hold down A to activate the extra bag. A plus up, down, left, and right to use an item. Items and gestures to the extra bag. Uh, Monad's lamp light up the character surrounding. Wow, it does. Jeez. This one seems to be a repair kit. pace would, uh, would help. <laughs> Just saying. Swords. Swords could help. We got a, a rapier. We got a saber. And the, not a scimitar. Maybe a kopesh. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Shotgun, please. 
Path of the Cricket. Balance. Path of the Born Out of Wedlock. Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper. Strength. I feel like we've played like a lot of knife guys lately with Demon Souls and Lord of the Fallen. So either balance or strong. So we haven't played we haven't played a strong guy since Dark Souls 2, my second game in this series. Like I played Dark Souls 1, I played Dark Souls 2 once. It's been a while. Let's go. Switch display. Oh! Interesting. Balance combat style with both power and speed. Quick and nibble combat style for striking enemies' weak spots. Heavy combat style. Cuts down enemies using great physical strongs. Okay, I think the bigger in the last game was your souls. So, uh, it's not your souls this time, it's one of the stats. I don't let you look at any of these while you're here. So I lose a lot of technique, so technique might be the dexterity thing. In this one, because this one has 11 and this is supposed to be the dexterous one. Mm. Advance could be movement, but motivity also feels like it could be movement. This one starts off with a lot of hit points, less stamina, guard regains good. Oh, weight limit, yes, tons of it. Physical attack is quite high. Physical defense is quite high. Vigor's really low. So Vigor might be like your your stamina bar. Seeing as this said something about um, cut down your enemies using great physical strength. The stamina bar's really, really low on this one. So what if they're in order of what they are at the bottom? Right? So Vitality is the highest on this one, has the highest health. Vigor is the lowest on this one, this one has the lowest stamina. And so on. So Capacity is your blocking, your guard regain. Activity is your weight limit perhaps then? Technique. Ah, this is where it falls apart. Technique is the lowest on this one, but it has the highest physical attack, so... I think for a while they're probably lined up, but they're not towards the bottom of the screen. Okay. Let's be this guy. Let's be the Strongs. Father the Sweep of Strength, do you wish to continue? Yes, I sure do. Wow, then they give me like a lot of tooltip up the top right there. Switch legion arm with left and right. Switch weapon. Right, okay, extra bag. Lock on. Dash and dodge. Guard. Um, my sword goes through my head when I use the guard. That seems like something you could have like fixed right at the beginning of the game. Instead of... <laughs> It clipped through, but but never mind, never mind. I don't think we need to check in any of the menus. It's nice to know that the menu button is the menu button, but uh, yeah, this will do. Damn, I got a Sekiro arm already. I start with one. Oh, you did, you did. But damn, you did, you did. There's a gigantic target. Trigger special attack, normal attack, and then I don't even see what the last thing was. 
That was cool. I don't know why I ended up with a load of blood all over me. It wasn't from him. It's probably me when he hit me. That ripping sound is incredibly loud. Normally what I do with the way my volume is on my computer is I turn it down to 30% out of 100. But uh, this isn't set up like that. Just have to figure it out as we go. Atmosphere in this game already. Hmm. At the bottom right of the screen, there seems to be a combo. Y, 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 and then L, B, and Y. These don't do anything yet. Pulse cell. Use a pulse cell. It, 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 so far, yes. But right at the beginning of the game, it said, this is Geppetto's puppet. And I was like, oh, so this is Pinocchio then. So it seems to be the lies of Pinocchio. And it seems like, you know, if you're old enough to, to know that Geppetto's puppet is the story of Pinocchio, then, uh-oh, you've, you've just kind of got the reveal. Yeah, it does look a bit more modern set. Like, uh, I definitely have electricity, and I started with a robot arm, and it's not made of wood, and yeah. I haven't really done... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Disney can't get on them. It seems like, anyway. I could have made, like, the wrong assumption right off the bat, but... But, you know, it's possible. Use a pulse cell to recover HP, so I think this is the Estus Flask. There's a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, the pulse cell will gradually... Char oh, okay, so you can run out of health items and then fight to gain more health items by the look of it. So, um, so far, I've selected the Super Mega Ultra Heavy Greatsword because I've, I've done knives twice recently. So I decided to go the other way. I haven't been with like a big strong attacker in Dark Souls 2. Oh my god, that guy's getting a beat down. Jeez, he's already dead. Leave him alone. So left stick to dodge or just lead to re dodge. Okay. You've got a generic hop back in case you just want to get out of the way. Dim Ergo Fragment. I got, I got no idea what that is. Definitely if you want both hits of that combo, you want to be real close. Press the button. Ooh, I'm not sure. I didn't look around first. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not blood. It's oil. Getting covered in in robot oil from defeating them all. Okay, that door's painted on. Oh. The station employee has the transition keys. Okay. I guess we will press that button then, and then go through that other door. Ouch. Oh good, even though they didn't tell me about the run button. Oh they did, it, it sort of mentions it up there. Uh, guard. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. Reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Okay. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. Oh. 
So you got like a bit of a hybrid rally system in this. Interesting. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. Oh god, it's like the third Sekiro style in a row. What the hell? Okay, I guess this is what we do now. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage. Only stamina is consumed. Oh, it doesn't sound all that perfect to me. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon. Or put the enemy in a staggerable status. That sounds cool, though. Alright. Let's try and uh, get a timed... Timed block. Oh, god, I'm being shot. Killed by the freaking Terminator over here. Let's see, uh, health potions? Alright. Pine block. Nope. Nope. He has a weird arm. That's what I blame. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, I got an achievement! Destroy an enemy's weapon with a perfect guard! Yay! Right after the tooltip. So I guess those blue ones were my uh, my guard power. Ooh, well. Oh, so there was a downstairs and an upstairs. This game's got a lot of, like, dead people. <laughs> Yay for achievements, for sure. Bathrooms erect. That robot really hated the bathroom. He doesn't. He doesn't understand it. <laughs> yeah. I'd be okay with the Disney Dark Souls. You know what? There was this game series called like Kingdom Hearts that I never got into, but maybe now that I've got the free time that I'm not doing the MMOs. Rear attack from behind an enemy. Oh, good. I get normal. I get normal backstabs. Here we go. Let's look for the cutscene. That looked excessively awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is right at the start. Like, there wasn't an intro FMV, which is like the first one of these games where we haven't had an intro FMV. It's just... I've, I've just woken up and it said, oh hey, you've woken up, come meet me at the hotel, puppet of Giuseppe. And and that's it. We just walked around the corner, I've killed like two, one guy before you showed up, so you, you're right on time. Oh, another perfect guard. There we go. Come on. My Sekiro senses are tingling. of becoming a real girl. Ah, becoming a real boy is like the, the tagline for Pinocchio, so yep. Yep. Damn. Damn my extensive knowledge of one small area of life. You details. Oh wow, you get like a shortcut to read the, the book by pressing a button after you picked up the book. So good. Awesome. Passenger's note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smash people to death in there. <laughs> I locked the door, but I don't know if that will work. At least it's just stop people from randomly coming in. Yeah, stop me from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon anyway, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone. 
I'm sure someone was alive somewhere. It's a big world. While dashing, left stick to jump. Oh no, it's got jumping. Yeah! Oh, no. There is no jump attack, but there is backstab. Uh oh. Whoa. Ah, yeah, too sure. Too sure. Too sure. So I did a little bit of block, used up one of my guards, and then there's the bit of rally. Okay. It didn't use up much of my guard to block that guy. Blocking might be good. Okay, I'm heading down to the huge puppet that's killing people. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krut that can that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Ah, there's the kick down ladder picture. That's the one we really need to know. Goodbye, lock. F Fable Arts? Oh, well now it's unlocked the Y key. Press Y to use the Fable Arts while guarding. Use Handle. Fable Arts. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own Fable Art. Fable Arts use up Fable slots, and different Fable Arts use a different number of slots. Charge Fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. That was, that was the word Fable very, very much. That was that was the combo of Y Y Y. Oh, and there's the picture of the handle for the other one. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Ow. Right trigger, hold for a charge attack. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear around the enemy's HP bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy staggered with a charge attack or with Fable Arts. Okay. Aha! Fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy and press attack. Fatal attacks can be formed on staggered enemies. If successful, can inflict heavy damage. That was the exact same animation as the backstab, but on his front. I don't even get a different animation for doing the staggered front stab. Come on! You could at least have had a guy animate that differently. Ooh. Still, so far, so good. It's familiar, yet it has some new things. Alright, so I got the mega key for the ultra door. And I unlocked the door that gets me closer to the door. Let's go through that door. Hell. 
Repair the Stargazer. Why, though? I'm not doing saying if you don't tell me why. Whoa. Robo dog. Aggressive robo dog. Backstab before he got up. Try one of these uh, guarding fables. Oh, I didn't really do much. Grinder. Used to repair weapon durability. I noticed that before, but it didn't work. I've got a buzzsaw arm that, you know, fixes my weapons. Okay. Aaron. Now, for the bottom right hand corner is my level, I'm about to level up, but if it's just my fable bar, I'm about to get some more fable. Crack Times, issue 183. Crack Grand Exhibition has been delayed. The decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that's recently paralyzed the city is under control. Well, you know what your problem is? Having enough puppets so that a puppet frenzy would halt the city? The occurrence began on Rosa Isabella Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Venigi Company, France's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. Uh-oh. The task force is investigating the possibility of a facial loss of the Grand Covenant. Oh no. Which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution, as of now, with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties as the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease. Oh my god, everything's going down. Uh, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Kratz Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. Yeah, that didn't work. The station was bad. Everybody did. So I could carry on down this road, but I didn't, you know, reactivate the stargazer or whatever the heck that earlier thing was. 